Good morning traders, this is Christopher Terry with the opening play video for Wednesday, October 8th. Okay, so what we're looking at here is a bullish shark pattern on the AUD JPY, it's a one hour chart. As you can see here, we have an X, A, B, C, D pattern in this general area between 886 and a 113 zone. Your stop is at 130.50. All right, we sent this out as a swing trade alert also. Your first targets are up in these areas. You can see that. We also have GBP AUD. We can see this is a bullish shark pattern. Here's your entry zone at 80 at the 886. It's 1 823 down to 81423. And you got your risk below there. So uh, I could start scalping, trading from the long side. I like that. And last but not least, we have the EUR NZD one hour chart. As you can see, this is up in a bearish shark pattern. You got the XABCD. Here's your zone. Your stomp is 1.62422. And let's take a look at some SMPs. Okay, here's the SMP E mini futures. As you can see, the market has been in. Uh, pretty solid downtrending environment. Oops, let me just fix this here. Anyway, it's been a pretty solid downtrending environment as you see lower lows, lower highs. So should we get a retracement back up into this soon? Okay, we could just see right here. There's a lot of data right in that zone. All right, so let's just throw a little Fibonacci. Let's just throw a little Fibonacci, okay? All right, so we see that the market, if it pushes back up to a, a 618 zone, retracement of this whole move down, uh, you got good resistance. Now you see all these moving averages as they're coming down. If we get any pushes towards there, it should really limit the upside. This is telling us, this is telling us that the market's gonna stay on the side, it's gonna be bearish and not to be so bullish just yet, right? When we're on the opposite side, then we could be a little bit more bullish. Let's take a look at the five minute chart. Let's see what that's telling us. Yeah, still, all right, still the upper end of the five minute uh, chart where you have your higher end moving averages is still up in this zone. So any retracement up into this zone will be real good resistance. I'm not a fan of buying the market just yet especially in the futures market if we were doing equities like you know you could scale in a little bit but the futures market obviously it's uh, highly leveraged you don't want to get into trouble so any test down of 1918 would be an area to watch 1918 is an obvious swing low and that would be a general uh, generally a good area to take a trade against if we push down to that area that'd be good for a buy scalp but uh, for now just um, let the market rally a little bit and we'll set up a shorting opportunity other than that let's have ourselves an awesome awesome trading day and i'll see my traders in the chat room in the morning